Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and this is going to be an initial impressions video on the new G-Wolves HTR. This is a very shocking fingertip mouse from G-Wolves coming in at 28 grams. But I mean, that doesn't even tell a quarter of the story. This mouse literally ships with lightweight gaming clay that you can mold and just put on your mouse. Um, you do have to be very careful if you get the honeycomb version because they can kind of get stuck in the honeycombs. I did spend a lot of time yesterday with the tweezer, but that is besides the point. I mean, this is an unbelievable mouse and it comes in around the same weight as the HSK Pro, which this mouse is much larger than the HSK Pro. I caught so much flack for just being like, this is too small for people with normal hands. And then all the tiny hand people are like freaking out at me. But this is definitely a size up. You see the shape really just resembles a strawberry. And and that's a good way to describe it. One thing that I like compared to the HSK is that there's just more room like vertically on the sides to fucking fit my fingers. Like the HSK, it is just, it's just ridiculously small. And yeah, really my impressions on the HTR shape after a day, obviously this is not something I expected to just click instantly. Like I've been using the Viper V3 Pro recently. You can just see the size difference between these two mice. But um, I honestly, I do like the HTR. Like it's not something that I'm writing off. Like I think it's any type of bad design. It does feel kind of like bulby, and I mean, it obviously is just more of like a half size mouse. It does have this high hump, which you might think is like for claw grip. And I mean, if you have really small hands, maybe you could pull something like this off. I wouldn't recommend it, but I think it's actually more designed for like the Rocket Jump Ninja style flat fingertip. And this mouse really does work for multiple like fingertip styles. And yeah, one thing that I just personally have noticed in the first day of using this mouse, I really can't pinpoint what it is yet. I don't know if it's like weight balancing, just the angle of the shape, the way I grip the mouse, but it just feels like I'm kind of lifting my mouse up and like the back, it's just not as balanced of a mouse skate experience as I would generally have on something like the ULX small Viper V3 Pro, just like a full size mouse. So that could, like I said, just I need to get adjusted to it. It might even have something to do with like the lip of the base. I'm just not even sure. And yeah, I know to a lot of you guys who likely don't even have this mouse, it just sounds like I'm insane. So I mean, now I'll get to some more just general impressions. Um, build quality wise, I don't have any concerns. This is a really light mouse, but it's also a very small mouse. It's not like this is a 28 gram like Viper V3 Pro shape, let's say. But yeah, um, structurally, it does seem sound they are using. Are they still using like the PCB? Um, trick to add rigidity, I'm not sure, but yeah, I don't have any concerns. I'm not going to squeeze this mouse. I mean, maybe I will squeeze this mouse with a ton of force. Um, but yeah, really no concerns there. The click quality, uh, judging it after one day, is never smart. And what I mean by that is clicks can be very solid out of the box, but after a month or two of hard use, the quality can deteriorate. There's not really any concerning amount of side wobble yet. There is a little bit of pre-travel, as you can see, but these are just like a very um, crisp and fast rebounding, easily spammable click. So I don't have any issues with them. And something with a mouse this light, you really just don't want high actuation force clicks. So um, this just nails it in my opinion so far, but obviously wait for the full review to see how it holds up in a slightly longer um, use period. And yeah, as you can see, there is a good amount of like post travel, but I mean, that is something that assists with like a bouncy feeling and click. So I'm not concerned, but it just is what it is. And yeah, on the website, they do say they're using Huano 60M switches, which I believe are the blue shell red dots. I didn't take apart the mouse to see, but I do see the transparent blue shell um, that, but that stuff comes for the full review. So I believe this is a kind of um, unique Huano offering and it is very light. And by unique, I just mean not a ton of other mice seem to have it. Um, but yeah, using this the first day, I'm obviously not breaking any like scores. It's just not massively better, but it is something that unlike the HSK Pro, I'm like kind of excited to put some time into and see how I adjust. My camera just always overheats and freezes. I don't really know what that comes down to. But yeah, one thing that is annoying about this and does make it unusable for my main game, which is something I get to care about. Again, people are always like, it doesn't matter. It's a fingertip mouse. You don't need to have good side buttons. But the side button placement is very suspicious. You can see this bottom side button. Like when I was first using it, I thought the top side button was like the bottom side button because I just figured it would be up here. But this bottom one, it's just super far back. Like I don't even understand how I would be meant to hit it like while I'm gripping it like that. Um, or I would just have to have like my finger resting on the side button and even then it's like still I have to press my finger outwards like this. It just would not work for me. I did some experimenting and maybe like if I grip the mouse like this, it wouldn't be too awful, but no no um, fingertip mouse has ever been a good option for Fortnite and this one will not be either in my opinion. You can see like the side buttons are once again just tiny, but if you are just playing any other game pretty much that won't be as much of an issue. 
And yeah, for fingertip users, I think that this has a lot of potential. If you do like just how low, flat, and generally small the HSK Pro is, this will be a bit bigger. For me, that is a very good thing, but I guess for some people, it could feel a little bit more restrictive. And it just does feel a bit wider because it does have that unique like strawberry shape. But yeah, it really will come down to where you grip it. I don't think a lot of people will be gripping up here, but obviously that will be a wider experience. And yeah, shape-wise, there is just pretty much room for infinite innovation with the gaming clay. And a pro tip is you can apply the grip tape first and then put the gaming clay on top of that. The coating itself is just like a very dry, lightly textured plastic. I don't think there's actually any coating applied. Um, it's surprisingly nice on like the honeycombs on the sides, but yeah, the grip tape, it is just that default G wolves grip tape but it is a little bit stickier than i remember but that could just be how it feels initially then it gets a little bit less sticky yeah really no concerns and as always g wolves provides a fucking insane amount of inbox extras you can see this this is the true innovation this is chinese luxury i love you my favorite forever g wolves i mean that's like insane tech and they also provide you like a leash in the box like i don't even understand what's going on they just give you so much stuff and a very cool postcard. I know this isn't quite an unboxing, but why not? I mean, look at this, man. And I almost forgot, but they also provide you um, arm sleeves. And these are something that I'm not going to use, but they do have a very um, different feeling compared to other ones. These also look like they would be too small for me, but I don't know. I um, wasn't going to use them anyway. But yeah, the arm sleeves really do have this texture of almost like a blackout curtain or like a dress that feels like a curtain just to give you an idea. So yes, this mouse is $160, 150 after a code but you do get a lot of extra stuff in the box and i'm obviously not saying that justifies the price or to immediately go out and buy it but you do get a luxury chinese unboxing experience but yeah that's about all i have to sh say for the uh mouse at the moment i'm gonna keep testing it the weight just feels insane there's nothing off about the balancing like i said um but obviously there just is a lot less going on towards the back of the mouse and yeah i just realized i didn't speak about the sensor it is a 3395 and they do have um software on the web mouse.xyz i wonder what they paid for that domain um but yeah this doesn't feel any better than just an like good 3395 implementation it does have 8k compatibility but yeah that's really all i gotta say like i haven't found anything massive in terms of like hiccups wireless issues but it just doesn't feel any better than just implementations i'm used to and i almost forgot to mention this but now g wolves has the mouse dongle using usb-c and the mouse using USB-C. So that is fucking pretty incredible. I did not think they would ever be able to do that, but here we are. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see the full review of this mouse in the future. But I mean, I am, I'm impressed, honestly. It just definitely, out of the box, it feels better than the HSK Pro. And, and yeah, I will get, keep you guys updated on my mouse. And last but not least, I fucking, they just include so much stuff. It's easy to forget. There is this like pin, this magnet, whatever you want to call it. It says VIP Boardsy G Wolves 2024. So obviously this review was bought and paid for with this little medallion. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Any other questions, let me know. But that's all. Peace out.